Hey everyone, it's Nick with We Do IT. We are an MSP that takes security very seriously. I'm gonna walk you through how we protect the computers, our clients' computers that we currently manage. And one of the things that we do is we use multiple layers of security. So let me just kind of share with you our stack right now. Um, this is a demo PC, it's actually in Azure. It's in Azure VM right now. And uh, we're currently utilizing, we have uh, Dato RMM, and what Dato RMM does, we also have with it is the um, you know ransomware detection, which works really well. On top of that, we do have Sentinel-1 complete, and then we also have the Huntress agent as well. So we're, we're, we're kind of triple stacking this, you know, running alongside this, obviously you, you have Defender that is currently running. Now all of this kind of plays nice together from what I found in, in you know, testing this out. Uh, we are gonna be testing out some ransomware from a no before. Now what this is is a simulator. Um, you can definitely download diff different types of ransomware and stuff like that, but I would encourage you to be very, very careful. No before doesn't actually like encrypt this computer. It'll actually create a new set of files, then attempt to uh, encrypt them to, you know, kind of simulate what ransomware does. This, so um, you can definitely test out real ransomware, real, real viruses, which I do suggest you do, but if you do it, make sure you be safe, completely isolated. Like this one right now is an Azure VM, which should be interesting because um, you know the data RMM uh, isolate doesn't work with Azure VM. So that's why we kind of have some re redundancies in place. So let's kind of see, kind of see what happens. See how our tools check out. I'm just going to run this command right here to kind of kick off the process and then show you on our side what we see and how we can resolve this issue. Okay. So let's go into it. We're just gonna start the process here. And what it's doing right now is creating these files right here. So you've got Word document, we have a PDF here, PowerPoint, and Excel. And immediately, as you can see right here, we have detected or Sentinel-1 detected that you know there's a threat. And like almost immediately, it didn't even get to encrypt this. So we'll see what happens. We have the threat, I'm gonna actually move this down here. Sentinel-1, pick it up right away the executable that's currently running the software um, we'll see what happens let me move this window over here and we'll see if it actually gets to starts to encrypt these encrypts these files right here sentinel one is saying there's no threats detected right now because it actually removed it i'll show you on our end here while it's doing that you know some of the some of the what it did here so so far it has not encrypted that it's gonna it's gonna wait some time for it to, the system to settle down so we have time to review this so already let me move this over here already sentinel one has picked this up this was the main runner.exe which we we picked up on our you know on the computer itself let's see what it did so it said it killed preemptive, it quarantined, it remediated, and it even rolled back prior to what that is. And I will explain that all to you here. Let's just go into, you know, what what all of that actually means. We can go back here. You can kind of see, you know, what what it actually did from this point of view too. So, you know, immediately Sentinel One, like I said, we were using a security stack. Sentinel One was the first to identify the issue. And you know they went they went through the mitigation action of kill, quarantine, remediate, and rollback. So what rollback does it actually restores the files and configurations that it changed. So it'll try to roll everything back to where it was prior to you know being infected with malware, ransomware. So it'll remove the threat and then try to roll the PC back to where it was healthy and clean. So that way we can go in there, fix whatever issue. So as you can see here, it did kill the process, it did quarantine it, it did remediate it, so it deleted all files and system changes created by the threat, and then it rolled it back. So we're gonna see if this could actually still process this. I'm still waiting for, I'm still waiting for the file activity to settle down. It says it's gonna wait three minutes and see if this software can still perform, and if so, what happens next? What's going to happen next with either Sentinel-1, Data RMM, or Huntress. So let's see what happens.
So waiting for the attack right now. See what happens. Oh, says it might be blocked by antivirus protection. So Sentinel One right off the bat picked it up, killed the process, and rolled it back. Let's see if it actually restored. Let's see if we go into where that file was. It was C KB4. And go right in here. Yep, and it's nowhere to be found. That mainrunner.exe, so it killed it. And it actually was it was actually so fast it didn't even get to encrypt those files. Those files are still safe, still not encrypted. Now, you know, one of the things is like Dato RMM will we're, we're getting blown up with alerts here because you know Sentinel one Sentinel one came through and said, Hey, there was something malicious on this, and we get sent that to our help desk so that we can immediately remediate. But as you can see, Sentinel One took care of the issue even before we even are getting alerted here because it happened it happened, you know, so fast. It happened, you know, so quick that it was able to resolve this issue. So, you know, one of the things that I will recommend to you or to any business or any MSP, you know, test your software, test your software stack out. You know, the reason why we went with Sentinel One and Huntress is because they were able, they were one of the few that actually stopped the you know Kaseya ransomware that happened back in the day I won't cover that here but it was really bad impacted thousands of the computers even you know went all the way up to the White House it was it was a crazy crazy time and right now there's new strains of ransomware out new viruses new malware new everything so you want to you know at least every quarter test your software security stack because things change you know right now i believe that sentinel one paired with huntress and data rmm are a you know a very 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 good solution it resolves issues quickly we've had issues where you know one of the things is we don't get you know most people don't have admin rights to do uh, to install software so that you know that that helps right off the bat but one of the things that you know i found with it even people are trying to like you know install crypto miners we had we had clients that like you know the sun got into the computer try to install you know try to install crypto miners try to download them and stuff and like you know sentinel one actually detected hey we download this this person downloaded a crypto miner didn't even try to install it and actually removed it right away so that way you know you got to keep your network safe you know and then that's that's what i do so i i test everything make sure everything is good for our clients and then what i do on a normal basis is I'm always testing these, but I'm also testing out different products all the time and saying, hey, how how do things you know react when we do this? What 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 kind of what kind of software, you know, is you know what kind of what kind of viruses can we throw at this or malware or whatever ransomware at this? You know, is our security stack the best security stack not only for us but for our clients because that our clients are trusting us to protect them to you know if something does go wrong like you know you saw here if something did go wrong how how quickly can it be resolved how quickly quickly can we remediate the issue and that's one of the things that you know we strive for here at we do it is trying to be at the top at the top and i know like some people are like hey you spend a lot of time on security you know your 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 msp bundle is 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 very security heavy and the reason for that is because if we don't if we don't do this it's going to be very bad for someone and there's two types of computers in this world ones that are compromised and the ones that are going to be compromised somewhere in the future that's our belief because everyone especially small businesses can be a victim of ransomware malware and if you don't have you know proper backups which we do we have on-site off-site backups you know so if let's say something got through all three of them right got through all three of them and we're like oh man everyone's infected everything failed this is a new strain of ransomware we do have backups on site off site also those backups have ransomware detection so if even if the backups get you know corrupted or encrypted we will be able to access the ones that are off site and then we would be able to roll back that way like you know sentinel one roll back this in real time if it got really bad, we would have to, you know, restore from a from a full backup as well for us a server or workstation or whatever the case is. So, you know, I hope you found this in, uh, useful. Hope you found it valuable. This is what we currently do. If you're not testing this, if you're not doing this, I strongly, strongly recommend that you do. If you have any questions, let me know.